We have been hearing a lot about a treaty proposed by the World Health Organization to dictate policy to and within sovereign states in the manner of a world government or world dictator. They have a group they call an Intergovernmental Negotiating Body, INB for short, that considers itself authorized and qualified to negotiate with and on behalf of sovereign countries to develop policy for the world, as if the world had a government and as if that government were superior in authority to sovereign nations, and as if the entire populations of all those countries were subject to a self-invented global government somewhere over there. These aspiring world dictators can only be described as pathologically self-delusional in imagining their own power, importance, and relevance to national and local policies globally. No one has elected them. No one has asked them to overtake regional governance. Most people do not even know their names. These are people who imagine themselves to be world leaders when the world has not asked for any leaders, does not need any leaders, does not have any legitimate global leaders. And where if the WHO has any influence at all, it is based on political hocus pocus, getting YouTube to censor anyone who disagrees with it, and the exaggeration of health issues as grave public emergencies. Their negotiating body, that INB, which has no legitimate authority to negotiate anything with anyone, strives to develop and control international law, which does not yet even exist, has not been ratified by any country, has not been legitimized by any democratic process, but which they will propose to be a new international instrument on pandemic preparedness and response, and they will urge your country's officials to sign and enforce that even if it violates your national constitution. So the WHO, after their policies, programs, and recommendations killed and injured millions of people with their last pandemic response, after they asserted policies which locked down entire countries and destroyed their supply lines, their productivity, their small businesses, and drove many of those countries into social and economic chaos, which has triggered world famine and currency collapses, they now envision for themselves an even larger and bolder role to form and impose policies upon the sovereign nations of the world by installing this INB treaty, which only a dead rat would be stupid enough to sign. The World Health Organization has stated repeatedly that it intends to be inclusive. Oh yes, of course, they expect you to be included in the tyranny, suicidal policies, global control, and depopulation. Of course, we all must be included in the depopulation. You are invited to be included in suffering under WHO policy, but you are very definitely not included in the development of the policies. On the WHO website, they clearly define who is invited to be included in the public comment. They clearly state that those invited to comment must be, and I quote, entities that have relevant knowledge, experience, and or expertise related to pandemic preparedness and response. Does that sound inclusive? Does that sound democratic? Hardly. It is blatantly dictatorial and elitist. These special invited contributors are what they call stakeholders. They have this mysterious term, stakeholder, which means they're cronies and collaborators, the people who are starstruck by the WHO global governance narrative and who can influence others to capitulate to this inconsequential and self-important bunch of aspiring tyrants and dictators. If you are not what they deem to be a stakeholder, you are not included. You are not a participant. You are not invited. Yet that international instrument, that INB will rule your life and your national government will sign it and it will become law for you and everyone else by the magic of treaty acquiescence. Your local laws and constitution will be superseded. You will be included as a subject to the policy. You will not be included as a policy maker, as a voter, as a com commenter, even as a protester, there is no such inclusion for such things in world governance. You personally will become a subject to serve the agenda and policy. 
you will be included to pay the taxes necessary to make the agenda work and to support the bureaucracies necessary to administer those policies. You are included in the surveillance and control. So yes, in that sense, WHO is inclusive and you are included. This is all part of a very large ad hoc matrix of political power and influence for global control of local policy. There is only one way this kind of thing can be defeated. All of us need to make our opposition and resistance known and felt by those who would be stupid enough to play along with global tyranny. International policymaking simply does not work because of planetary diversity, the millions of different places and cultures in the world. We are too diverse to be ruled by one-size-fits-all policies. Do you feel represented in your city or county government, your national government? How represented do you think you would be in global government if there were such a thing? How much clout would you have in that? Is that something you need? A global government? Do you believe a small group of elitists in Geneva, Switzerland understand how to run your country, your city, your life? Emergencies are used to nullify law and impose arbitrary dictate. That is the value of emergencies to leaders. They become instant dictators in an emergency. The WHO is not even a government, but it uses medical emergencies to collect and project power. The WHO is asking its stakeholders how the world should be run. The only right answer to that question is, I'm sorry, the world is not mine to run. Here is how medical policy must work. I will decide if I need to wear a mask, take an injection, close my business, or walk off my job. I will decide those things. Health officials can inform us, even advise us, but each of us needs to be fully in charge of our own health. I do not delegate my health to WHO or any other far distant group of strangers. The mass controlled method did not work for COVID-19. In fact, it nearly destroyed the world economy and we must never let that happen again. Please support these videos by visiting our sponsor page at preparewithjerry.com for our top quality, long-term storage, emergency food. We work with the nation's top supplier, which has delivered several million orders to homes just like yours. And we do mean long-term storage. With one order, you have emergency food lasting up to 25 years, as near as your closet or pantry. These food kits can get you and your family through any difficulties that may lie ahead. We update preparewithjerry.com regularly with seasonal discounts and special packages. Having food storage at hand is more than insurance. It is peace of mind. Go to preparewithjerry.com. Preparewithjerry.com.